This week on the Sequoia Scribe Newscast, we take a closer look at some recent changes to student council election. We explore the importance of the Locks of Love program for cancer patients. In our sports segment, we find out more about the recent faculty student basketball game. All this and more is coming up on SSN. Good morning, Sierra Mill. My name is Sandler. And I'm Keeley. Welcome to this week's episode of SSN. The student council at John Sevier Middle School is involved in a lot of service projects. It represents the voice of the students of Sevier. This year, the elections for officers of the student council have changed. Joshua and Elise have the story. Recently, the student council changed how they elect officers. What does the student council do? The student council is an organization of about 30 students who um, help do projects to ha benefit the school. The John Sevier Middle School Student Council is a student-elected, student-run club organization that, uh, whose purpose is to serve the school, improve the school, and to improve the community. All students used to have the opportunity to vote for officers, but that has changed. They would vote is, they would say their speeches, the newscast would record them, and the whole school would decide who gets the position. Now the student council officers are elected by a student council nomination, and then the student council will vote based on speeches that they have heard. Why did the student council make this change? After consulting the Constitution of the Student Council, we realized we can keep this within the Council because what happened was it turned into a popularity contest and perhaps somebody may win who had no interest in the Student Council or who had ever even been on Student Council and really did not want to be on Student Council. So this way it's within the members. Um, the reason they made this change is because then you'll have people that know you better vote for you, meaning it, they will know whether you would be the better candidate. Some students are upset about this change. What does the student council have to say to those people? I would tell them it's not a popularity contest and the student council members should vote because it, they, the student council members know it better instead of it being a popularity contest. This has been Elise with videographer Joshua. Kingsport City Schools is looking at taking over Sullivan North High School and making it the new Robinson Middle School building. The proposal is part of the Kingsport F Facilities Study that is trying to improve Kingsport school buildings. This new idea also says that a whole new severe middle school should be built in the Meadowview area. In other news, the Sequoia Scribe Student Newspaper is looking for the new recruits. Severe's newspaper will start taking applications for the 2015-2016 school year this week. Any 6th or 7th grade student interested in working as a student journalist should see advisor Dave, David Flannery in room 340. The newspaper is looking for staff writers, photographers, cartoonists, and editors. The Tennessee Department of Education is holding an essay contest. Students should write an essay about how a teacher has impacted their life and why the student is thankful for that teacher. The winner will win a $500 scholarship. One of the toughest things for many cancer patients is when they lose their hair. Gary filed this report about a program that tries to help. Locks of Love allows people to donate hair to make wigs for people with cancer. Not many severe students know that. Yes, it's like we like cut off some of your hair and give it to people to make wigs that people have gone through chemo. I think it's like a program about like helping people out. Yes, it's where um, people donate their hair for people that have cancer. After finding out what Locks of Love really was, students agreed that it is an important program. Yes, I think like it matters because like for the people who've gone through chemo and stuff. I think it's wonderful. Anything we can do to be positive and helpful to other people, especially going through uh, treatment for cancer, um, I think it's a fabulous program. Yes, because I think it's a good way to help people that have cancer so they'll have hair. It doesn't matter because I feel bad for the kids that um, 
not able to have hair and stuff. So they should have a right to have hair too because it's not their fault that they have like cancer and stuff. One hair donor, Hannah, also feels that Locks of Love is a good program. I think it is for people who have lost their hair. I think it's a good program. Hannah cut her hair because of a role model she had in elementary school who had cancer. I was a teacher in elementary school that lost her hair. Dermain Patel, an, on an oncologist, explains which medications cause hair loss. I'm an oncologist, so I'm a cancer doctor, and I'm also a blood doctor, so I treat a blood and cancer disorders. So I tell the patients that not all the chemotherapy or the medications we give to treat their cancer is the same. So a lot of chemotherapy has strong medications and a lot of people do lose their hair uh, depending on the type of medication that some people get very thin hair or some people get lose uh, loss of some hair and some people get totally bald depending on what chemotherapy they will get. Samantha, a future hair donor, has her own reasons to cut her hair. Um, because children, um, little children with cancer don't have hair, and I think that would be something good to do. Reporting for SSN, this has been Gowry. Spring is officially underway. What kind of weather can we expect during this last week before spring break? Gabriel is standing by in the Severe Weather Center with the answer. Rain is set to be with us all week in Kingsport. Good morning, I'm Gabriel. This week, temperatures will go up, but there is a change of rain almost every single day. On Monday, there will be a 20% chance of rain in the Tri-Cities. The high temperature will be near 59 degrees. Overnight temperature will be about 39 degrees. Tuesday will also have a small chance of rain, but temperatures will go up to the 60 degrees. By Wednesday, we should have a mostly sunny day with highs around 65 degrees. Thursday will bring rain back to Kingsport, and it will likely rain on Thursday and Friday. Now let's go back to the newscast studio. Spring sports have kicked off a brand new season at Severe. Maddie is standing by with a closer look at the spring sports season so far. Basketball and softball have arrived at Severe Middle, and the first meet of the track season is just around the corner. Good morning, Warriors. I'm Maddie. The softball team so far has not been able to win a game this season. Both the JV and varsity teams had their best showing so far in a recent match against city rival Robinson Middle School. The varsity team lost the match 14-3 and the JV lost the match 11-10. Severe's basketball team had also struggled this string. The varsity team recently defeated Churchill Middle with, with a score of 8-2 and 12-2. The JV team was unable to overcome T.A. Duggar and lost two hard-fought matches 2-1 and 1-2. Severe recently held the annual faculty versus student basketball game. Were the students able to defeat the teachers? Gabriel and Alex have the story. The faculty student basketball game was recently held at Severe. Teachers and students had the privilege to play against each other on the court. Um, my favorite thing is seeing the students play against the teachers, you know, to kind of get back at them for giving them homework and stuff. My least favorite thing is watching the kids get beat by the teachers. Probably getting to cheer on all my friends that's on the um, basketball team that's on the court playing. And my least favorite is probably we have to sit with our fifth period and we can't choose where we sit. Like if I want to sit with my other friends. My favorite thing is that it's a good experience for the students and the teachers to have some fun. The teachers have more experience so they're most likely going to win. This event was also a fundraiser for the school. The school got money from concessions. But who are the better athletes? Who are the better athletes? I think that's a trick question. I guess the scoreboard will tell. Teachers. Well, they're older and you know they have Coach Potts. In all, this event gave students an unusual end to their day by watching their favorite teachers play a sport. The teachers won the game 46 to 56. Reporting for SSN, this has been Gabriel and Alex. Well, that's it for this week's Severe Sports Report. Let's go back to the newscast studio. With most students not being able to vote for student council president, Elizabeth hit the halls to find out how severe students feel about this change. The way students vote for student council officers has changed. Only student council members get to vote now. How do severe students feel about this? SSN hit the halls to find out. I don't think it's fair because it's everybody's president. 
I think that we should be able to vote because it's dumb. They're going for our schools, so yeah. I think it's fair because um, not many people really pay attention to what student council does. So, and we don't really know what the people do in student council, so. Uh, I don't think it's very fair because it's like the president of our school and we should get like a say in who is president. I think it's terrible. This needs to be a democracy of the people. I think it's unfair because I think we should all vote. I think it's not fair because it's not just what student council thinks, it's about what the other student thinks. Because if somebody don't like the student president, then they shouldn't, the student council shouldn't vote for him. I think it's unfair that um, the student, only the student council get to vote because the students uh, want to vote too to figure out fundraisers and stuff. I don't think it's a really good thing because like, it would be fun to vote um, whether or not you're on student council, so I don't really like that. I think it's all right because, I mean, student council probably knows how to, the best person to choose because they're with them all year long. Um, but uh, sometimes I think that maybe we should get to vote a little bit too and then student council take into consideration our vote. If you want to tell us your opinion on the election changes at Sevier, tweet us at hashtag SSN hits the halls. Let's go back to the newscast studio. That's it for today's installment of the Sequoia Scribe newscast. Next week, SSN will take a break for spring break. We will be back with a new episode on Monday, April 6th. When we return, I, Gabriel and I will investigate the leaking roof at Severe Middle. Maddie and Allison report from the recent spring dance that was held at Severe. And Allison and Maddie explore how many student athletes at Severe deal with stress of away games. I'm Sandler. And I'm Keely. Have a great week, Severe Middle.